This The Local Project video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform designed to sell anything. Kitchens and bathrooms come in and out of fashion, but the building envelope, it's important that you get that really right. These buildings are expensive to build. They cost the environment quite a lot. So it's important that you build in a way that preserves the building to pass on to the next generation. So Arch is really obsessed with how buildings go together, how we might improve on the status quo, because we believe there's a lot of value in that space that's not tapped. My name is Chris Gilbert. I'm the Director of Design at Archer and we're sitting in the lovely courthouse out in Yakandanda, Victoria. Yakandanda is out in northeast Victoria, about 30 minutes south of the Murray, not too far away from the ski field, so it's in this beautiful little valley. And it's my hometown, I was born in the local hospital, and it's a space that's very special to all of the directors at Archer. So the clients were moving from Melbourne back up to the northeast. It's a bit of a tree change. So they really wanted a house that was quite passive in its design. And they wanted a really generational home for them and their children. So it's quite a prominent site in the township. It's adjacent to the local swimming pool and it sits right behind the local courthouse, hence the name, and just down from the police station. So there was actually a holding cell located where we're sitting at the moment. It's quite a difficult site as it has a road that runs around the outside of it and it's quite exposed, particularly in the winter. But the clients really embraced that, that challenge because they understood this was going to be a multi-generational home and they lent into revegetating the garden. And that's a really long project and the clients are really happy to do that because they're avid gardeners. But it takes quite a sophisticated client to understand that this building, even though we finished it a few years ago, it won't truly be finished for another 15, 20 years. So we had to organise the building around a rear entry. So you come down the side of the house, you open the door and you're presented with a beautiful kind of um, courtyard in the part of the house. The client's an avid gardener, so that was a really appropriate response, we felt. Essentially from there, all of the program circulates around that central courtyard. The courtyard in the middle of the building separates out the kitchen, dining, kind of sitting space on the northern side of the building, which is also the public side of the building, and then all of the bedrooms are on the southern side of the building. So the, the building kind of mediates that connection between community and retreat. So the house actually achieves the kind of base level passive house rating. And that's not because we've done anything special. It's just been designed and detailed in a really kind of smart, efficient way. We really want to find the most efficient, best way to build buildings. So much so that now we've started our own factory and we're starting to fabricate buildings in Melbourne, just so we can completely control from the forest all the way through to building the house. Quite a lot of the materials on the site were drawn from the local pellet. So we've got rough on timber on the outside, retreat with an Osmo oil. The roof is just a galvanised roof which kind of meets the heritage requirements. All of the walls that you see here are the actual structural sips and we've just painted those. And then we've lined the ceiling in a local timber just to create some warmth. Structurally insulated panels are really fantastic technology. It's just two layers of strand orientated board either side of a foam core. You can achieve a really great thermal envelope without many layers of additional airtight membranes, etc., etc. So we found it quite a cost effective way to build a super high performance home. Most mornings, that north spacing glass heats up the slab enough. The clients very rarely need to put on the heating. And then we've got quite deep eaves, so in the summer months, they get very little solar gain onto the slab and it remains pretty cool all year round. We also have heat recovery ventilation, which sucks all of the old air out of the bathrooms and pushes fresh air into all of the bedrooms. 
So the house always feels kind of light and fresh and lovely. The favorite part of the building is the kind of social kitchen. I'll sit and have a coffee with Julia and Craig. Just watch people kind of walk past on the street and you know, wave and that's such a nice way to live, like connected to community rather than um, retreating from community. And yeah, it's special because it's uh, unique. You know, I look back on my childhood in Yakandanda with so much fondness and joy, being able to provide a kind of stage for another family to do that just means so much. It's really, it's really rewarding. This The Local Project video is sponsored by Squarespace. Since 2003, Squarespace has helped entrepreneurs launch their own websites and stand out from the crowd. We've been using Squarespace for approximately six years now, predominantly to showcase our work on a visual platform, but also to engage with clients. My website design is really important. Obviously, we're in a very visual industry. I first chose to build my website with Squarespace because the website templates are really aesthetically pleasing and they're super easy to use. So there's lots of variation to them, but you can add your own little bit of personality and flair and you can just make it a bit more custom to your brand. For us, it's really important how the site links into all the social media platforms, which are ultimately a massive part of our business as well. And the more interactive these can be and the better they talk to each other, the better the results are for us. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform designed to sell anything from physical products, digital content, courses, appointments and more.